So why now? After 35 years. In 2011, my father picked up his paintbrush for the first time in 35 years. Now, at the age of 61, he feels like he can finally get back into it, thanks to his little workshop. My father was born on March 27, 1956, in Zurich, to Swiss parents. His father was a banker at Credit Suisse. I know, you can't get any more Swiss than that. As most Swiss at the time, he'd live his formative years in his hometown. With the occasional holiday spent in various parts of the country, and when they were lucky in some of the neighboring countries. It appears his family made a yearly excursion. I guess that was their tradition. During his childhood, his interests were, like for most kids, all over the place. It wasn't until midway through his teenage years that he discovered a new side of himself his artistic side, specifically painting. Upon the discovery of this newfound passion of his, he was convinced that that was what he was meant to do. Naturally, as a hardworking banker working nine to five every single day at a job he didn't like for the sole sake of providing for his family, his father, was not too keen on the idea of his son becoming a painter. Which is ironic because his father was an excellent artist as well. He would remind my father that selling paintings would not be enough to provide for his future family. My father responded with the highest conviction, I am not going to marry or have kids. his mind made up, my father applied to art school in Geneva and got in. While his style was seemingly old-fashioned compared to his peers, one of his professors recognized him as being one of the only true artists in the school. The professor who eventually became my father's mentor was a former pupil of the famous Austrian expressionist Oskar Kokoschka. It is fair to say that my father's style has inherited some Kokoschka-like quality to it. Unfortunately, as much as he adored the arts, he was somewhat discouraged by the modern take on it by the school. Most of his peers and professors were more fixated on modernizing art rather than preserving it. At that point, he was feeling lost and uncertain, like he was missing something. And if that was enough, life came knocking. Like his father, he had obligations elsewhere and was thus forced to put aside his artistic ambitions. I lived for 30 years in a very public activity for a higher goal and higher ideal. I was 
second, and one minute maybe. But that's really like the sketch that you want to keep on that. He told me once that giving up on art was probably one of the hardest decisions he ever had to make. Of course, some good came out of it. Going against his previous declaration of being celibate his whole life, he met this Kentucky-born wildflower that is my mom, and uh, they went on to have not one, but seven kids. One of them being me. Some things come later in life, and that's okay. I learned a valuable lesson when I saw my father pick up that paintbrush after so many years. It is never too late to do what you love. When, you, when you're young, you should learn technique, that's good. You may be spontaneous and you have something to say, but maybe you don't have so much to say. I feel now I have much more to say, so I can go back and uh, express what I have to say.